Hi, my name is Max, and today I want to talk about my ViewBoard, which is really a whole new digital whiteboarding ecosystem made just for a ViewBoard, which is this digital whiteboard that you see here before you. My ViewBoard is going to give educators instant access to lesson content straight on the surface of the whiteboard itself, so you're not going to need to be connecting and disconnecting a PC all the time. And these tools are going to allow you to make your classroom more interactive, more engaging certainly, easier to flip, but ultimately a more effective learning environment. Working with my view board itself is highly intuitive, so I can always write anywhere on the screen that I would like at any time, and I can do that using my finger or a stylus. You just select the pen tool. It's going to give you a range of options. It's quite versatile, so I can select here the, the nib type that I like, the size that I like, and any color. Once I'm good, I can go in and write directly on the screen. Then once I've written, if I feel like this text is maybe too big, I can also select that and edit it however I would like, meaning I can resize it quite easily or reorient it. There's also another cool tool I would like to discuss a little bit that's kind of unique. It's called the AI Pen. So I just go here, and then let's say I want a tree on this map. Okay, well I can draw a tree, but as you can see the problem is my tree is, is not very good, but it's good enough to give me a range of options. So when I have one that I like, I just click it and I can move that if I feel like this is too large, just like with my text earlier, I can re-edit it or manipulate it in a number of ways. So right now I'll resize it. That's pretty good. And then I can use this tool, which is pretty nice, to get more of them. Once I have a nice little group, I think I have enough, I can select them all and then manipulate them as a group. That means I can just move them anywhere as one item now. If you prefer to do some handwriting on the screen, that's also easy. I just click over to this cursive A. Now anything I write from here on out on the board I can always process back into much neater handwriting just by clicking this A. It's always easy to get online with my view board as well. I just click this browser. It's going to pull up the internet. And if I find on the internet any rich content or multimedia that I like, just click that and drag that into my whiteboard environment. Drag it to where I think it fits in particularly well. But if I do want to get a closer look, I can just expand that. So that's nice and clear now. And then once we're in this environment, I can always annotate directly to the surface of any media that I've gotten off the internet, however I like. So I can, that could mean drawing attention to a particular figure or a particular instance of the craft of the artist. But anytime I decide I want some video, I can go back to the browser. I have YouTube here. And I can just select whatever video I would like and then drag that onto the whiteboard environment. From there, it's easy to move around this uh, this video and then I can just click play when I'm ready. One other thing I wanted to draw your attention to about this essential whiteboard environment is that if I ever feel like I'm running out of space, that's no problem because I can always scroll for more and we call that the infinite canvas. Brought some media onto the board, I've annotated over it as you can see, and I feel like I'm getting a little cramped, I'm running out of space, and then bring myself more whiteboard. If as I'm using this whiteboard, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit lost. I don't really know where I am anymore. No problem. I can always reorient myself. And I do that just by clicking on this hand. So with this map, you can see it's quite easy to reorient myself and see where I am on this large infinite whiteboard. Now I've had a chance to look at some of my view board's basic features. It's time to set up an account. And that's going to give us access to a much more powerful set of tools, as well as the personalization and customization features that we just won't have access to until we're signed in. Setting up an account is quite easy. You just visit myviewboard.com and register. In some cases, your school may have already registered on your behalf. In that case, you'll receive an uh, email from your IT department explaining how to proceed. And logging in really could not be any easier. Bring up this QR code here. Scan it from my phone, and just like that, we're in. One thing you'll notice right away about my view board is just how customizable, just how personalizable this whiteboard environment really is. Any settings that I have on here will follow me when I log in and out. But you can also sync this environment straight to any cloud storage platforms that you may be using, like Google Drive, Google Classroom, or OneDrive. As you can see, I'm working with Google Drive, so then it's Quite simple, I just go to my Google Drive, and like I have this PowerPoint file, I can just drag that straight in. I just click, loads automatically. Now I have my whole lesson plan ready to go. It's all here. And then at the end of the day, when I'm ready to go, I can just sign right out. And all of this will, will follow me. 
So we've already seen how easy it is to gather uh, rich content and multimedia from the internet and bring it straight into the My View Board uh, whiteboard environment. But there are a couple other ways that we haven't looked at yet. And one of them is called casting. So by casting, we can take what's on the view board screen and cast it directly onto another device that might be in the room. So in this case, this laptop right here. So we just indicate that we're willing to receive the cast. Then I'll go to this green icon here. As you can see, this device has already popped up as Max. So I just select it. So now it's sending screen two. It's already on there. Now I can draw or do anything that I like, just like normal on this whiteboard, but it's gonna be sent straight to this other device. But this casting feature doesn't just work one way. What that means is that any students or other uh, device users in the classroom are always gonna be able to cast what's on their screen onto the view board. Just take a click to indicate that I want to share, then go to the same, the same icon, and now you can see what's on this device has been cast onto the view board. Another My View Board function that makes it really simple to get other devices content onto the screen is called throwing. How that works is you take a single file and you can throw that onto the view board screen from another device. So let's say I want this homework I have here. Just take a picture of that. And when I find that file that I want, I have it right here, I can select it and then just hit this cast. So that file has been thrown. Now you can see up here on this bell, I have a notification, click that. And any files that I have requested or thrown from other devices will, will queue up here so that I can manually select them as the instructor. In this case, I've selected it. Here's my file. I can just drag that onto my view board. I can blow it up. I can annotate that as well as I see fit. Just grab the pen. So you can imagine how simple it's going to be to flip your classroom when you have casting and throwing features that allow students to bring what's on their own devices straight to the front of the classroom. My View Board provides a suite of tools for IT departments to remotely manage all on-campus My View Board accounts from a single location. It's easy for them to simultaneously add multiple accounts at the same time, to onboard and offboard users as time goes on, carefully controlling what information can be viewed through My View Board. My View Board is hosted by Amazon Web Services and is fully GDPR compliant. All of your lesson content is securely stored on your cloud drive. That means it's not viewable by anyone on the My View Board team or any other third parties. It's important to us that you know how seriously we take your data privacy and information security here at ViewSonic. My View Board represents the next generation not only for digital whiteboarding, but also for building a more inclusive, more engaging classroom. If you're interested in learning more about how My View Board can help change your classroom, we hope that you'll visit us online and check out some of our video tutorials.